I'm Adam Tapia. Uh, uh, this poem is called Waking Up. Seven seconds. Movies are built around the foundation that love can be found if you look hard enough. Love being an easy target to strive for, setting the idea of the millions, yet killing so many who aren't perfect enough to find it. Seven seconds. Love a cheap piece of shit that can't be sold. They claim they know, making themselves experts about something that can't be learned. Hypocritically explaining an experience that was based not on love, but the beauty of the beautiful complexion. Seven seconds. In seven seconds, I was able to figure out why I was different. I knew that what love had felt like. I never realized how much of a narcissistic asshole I sounded like. But how could love be so painful? I believe that love could never be found at sight. Yet I did. Seven seconds. That's all it took. I knew I sounded like those dumb assholes crying that I had fallen in love. It must have been lust. But how could it be? Knowing my limits, the raspy feeling of my throat, with such pride saying I had a fucking type. <laughs> love truly has no boundaries. An animal never meant to be caged and put away, yet I was the one person that was able to tame the beast. Remembering how painful the first time hit me, I never knew that in seven seconds I could sink in. Was it the smile? The same smile you knew you could comfort with? The eyes that shone through plastic glasses? The same eyes anyone could be lucky enough to stare at? To look at every moment of every day realizing that no matter how hard life hits someone, the most perfect person I have seen, she would be there. In seven seconds I was blinded, the burning hands of Cupid covered my eyes, and I knew it wasn't her appearance. Was it the breath of the morning wind that left her lips? The clueless voice of that high school freshman, the same voice that melted my heart. It was so hard to understand I had a type. Why was she so different? That one word, different. Such an implicit definition describing perfection. My emotions so inexplicable in words, yet I write and describe them. Words that I will soon come to realize won't even matter. A simple handshake fooling myself I could even deserve such respect, still I went for it. For days and nights, imagining 10 billion ways in which I could show her how I felt. How does one explain the most inexplicable thing that could exist? She would never care for what I'd have to say, just another hopeless romantic creating 10 million futures of the one couple that would never exist. That sounds like high school. Then again, it isn't. I knew it was more than just a simple crush. Truly, I didn't understand how much I could love a person I never truly met. I knew that she wouldn't understand either. No one could. A coward, that's all it takes to make the snake spit in your eye. Then telling her, how stupid could I have been? Did I really think it would change anything? The cock slowed down and so did the rotation of the planet. For a millennium, I felt the burning breath of nest. The popular, the clicks, the losers. Why am I the peak of this gossip? Yes, she was younger, and no, I didn't care, and I, that I didn't know her. I was a complete stranger, but isolated in my emotions, and I didn't fill with the pain of knowing I can't speak to her. At night, lying in bed with a, f with a flask in my hand, drinking it all away, but only to feel worse the next day. Was I doing wrong? Now that she knew, why couldn't I grow a pair? My feet becoming mo nothing more than the cement they step on. St stopping myself from telling her just one word. Could I change her? I didn't want to change something so perfect for my benefit. Love is not something you make. Love is not something you get. Love is something you fight for. Love is a fruit, in season, at all times, and within the reach of every hand. Anyone may gather it. No limit is set. But she was the last one. A tree that will never grow God's perfection. The world had started a battle, and it won because I was weak. I knew I would never feel this way about anyone again. And still, I knew, and still I didn't. The thought of ever being able to change what had already been done, life, our life, would our life would have been perfect, taking her on dates, not to impress her, but to see her. I want to see, I want to be there when she needed help. I want to be there when she had something important to say. Know that I'll be the first person she wants to see every day. I want to be there when she needed open arms, when she was fighting life, us against the world. I wanted to be there when nobody could understand her as much as I could have. I wanted her happiness, her joy, her excitement, her love, her sadness. And I knew I'd see them, but not with me. Not with me because that's when I start waking up. Seven seconds sitting behind her in this fucking class, I start waking up. Waking up. Life is unfair and love isn't a bad thing, but it should be fought for. And if it isn't, well that's when you'll start waking up. <laughs>